Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Ready to roll? Uncles were pretty much my grandpas because they were the ones who spoke the language. They were the ones who brought back the ceremonies and the protocol for all of the seven sacred rites. They wouldn't give it up. Even when it was outlawed, they couldn't speak the language or prayer or pray in our own natural or, or cultural way. They would speak at night in the dark together in front of the house in the, in the yard under the trees when nobody is around. Otherwise, if they're in public, they speak English because it was against the law. Even for two uh, Indian people to come together in public on a street corner, that was a violation of the law if there was three. And that law still stands today. But it still hasn't been wiped off the books, but now people are kind of realize that we, we're okay. You know, we're okay. We're not, um, we're not, uh, conspiring to do any damn no harm to, to people or anything like that. You know, we're actually here to help. Our job, you know, was to help uh, people to wake up to their spirituality. That's our responsibility as the, as the Indian uh, nation, the, the red man. Uh, and the white man was the physical aspect of our nature. The yellow man was the mental aspect of our nature. And the black man was the emotional aspect of our nature. And we have held on to our spiritual teachings for this time in the history of the planet to come forward with all these earth altars and teachings because ready or not, Mother Earth is evolving. We're just going along for the ride. And if we're not ready, then, you know, we, we might as well go back from whence we came.